What's up guys, thank you for joining me for another episode on Word Thinkers. If this is your first time, my name is Sibiu. And if you're not already subscribed, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And so we did a particular video uh, of TB Joshua and um, you know, a lot of people was mad because the channel was removed and stuff like that. They miss all their deliverance, whatnots and stuff like that. And so basically the CEO of YouTube came out and uh, he spoke a little bit about some of the issues going on of why they remove and stuff like that, which is not a targeted issue. It is a global thing where uh, it affects all the channels basically when you do that. And so it is not that it is uh, specifically targeting TB Joshua. No, that's not what it is. And so I will let Ricky explain because I watched this video. Maybe some of you haven't watched it. And so I will go over to Ricky's channel and uh, we will check out what he said about all these things. We'll come here and conclude. And so let's jump over to that video. The look out on the internet and I found something that is a gemstone. You might have not heard of this, but hey, that's why you're here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't heard. Susan Majinski, the CEO of YouTube. <laughs> has just been on a stream of a video uh, bragging about not only removing Tim Joshua, which was about a channel with about two 2,000 videos or so, with about nine, uh, 600 and 589 million uh, views in total, about 2 million subscribers in up in there, about 250,000 views per day on average. This is the channel that Susan Wojcicki is proud of removing. Now, in the particular video that I'm talking about, it's about a free speech something, something. You can go check it out. I'm going to show you the flash up here. And particularly the issue here is that Susan is actually talking about the algorithm that they've just updated. And uh, so we removed 9 million videos last quarter. Um, and almost all of them, over 90%, we was removed with machines, which is good because it means if there's content that's violative, we find that really quickly. Well, guys, basically at the end of the day, we ought to know what we put out there for the people to see. First of all, let me be very clear. Me, I also don't agree with this whole deliverance thing and whatnots and stuff like that, because from a biblical point of view, you understand what deliverance is. And so at the end of the day, you see the same people being undergoing these funny things that is happening in the some of these churches and so for you folks out there which loves you know tb joshua's and some of the other pastors which do this deliverance things as a means of thinking that it will clear you from any other things that you are struggling with at the end of the day but then you don't correct your life by giving it to christ presenting it as a living sacrifice no 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 you want to go there as a means of quick things and fast things and stuff like that so you know what is your agenda but basically what i want to speak about is because this actually can affect anybody at the end of the day because uh, you know we all do youtube and so uh, youtube can actually stop your videos your channel completely and uh, so uh, this is how uh, you know i understand some of the things it is by what your interest is that is what youtube will put in front of you and uh, which is suggested to you, which comes on your homepage and stuff like that. And so once your videos don't go there, then you don't have any views or stuff like that, watch time, all these type of things. And so at the end of the day, Ricky was correct in his analysis by talking about the different things, which is the clickbait and uh, all these aspects uh, when it comes to YouTube. Remember, this guy has been doing it for a long time and uh, also shout out to him for the, doing such a great job in the, uh, you know, apologetics. And so, Yes, uh, I am a co-host on that channel, but uh, not even because of that, but he's doing an awesome job. So uh, at the end of the day, for us, you need to understand the theological side. Doctrine matters, like doctrine matters, guys. And so some of you that does, are not interested in doctrine because sometimes it's strict, sometimes it's what, sometimes it's this, uh, it doesn't allow you to live a life according to your pleasures which is a good thing because god knows what how to protect you from your own 
evil desires and from your own evil thing that you want to pursue at the end of the day. So God knows how to do that. And so we need to let God be God at the end of the day and uh, submit to his authority and his will and uh, come under submission and obedience towards him. And that is a life uh, well lived uh, according to, to, to the word of God, which is presenting yourself in such a way that God is working through you, but also at the end of the day, you are showing the fruits that has been displayed in your life. But some of these people, when you look at the comments that they are, you know, writing and stuff, come on, guys. You are trying to be intimidating. You are trying to be manipulative. You are trying to be, you know, uh, come on to us as if you are, yeah, don't judge. Don't, no, guys, please relax. Calm down. Uh, you know, get yourself a chair, sit down, relax, and uh, let's go through these things and help you to understand how to think biblically and not deliverancely about things. And so I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Do leave a like on the video. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, also notification bell, so you won't miss any future videos. And before you forget, make sure that you check out the pinned comments to see if there's any other videos that was posted today. I'll catch you on those ones. Until next time, may God bless you.